I was creating this movie about five years ago with the director, Chris Kardash. And we create a short and we, we're not sure about the feature film, we're not ready. And me and Chris, and we have another associate called Shaq Brenner, we sat for two weeks every night till like 9 a.m. to 4 in the morning. We ate noodles for two weeks just to make the script happen, just to make this story, just to bring the passion of the movie. We start shooting and from there we didn't stop. This is the future, the future is now. It's not an easy job to produce because there's so much responsibility into producing. But when you see the process of when starting the project, writing the screenplays, going to shoot, uh, it's a whole different game. So I can say yes, I do enjoy to produce. Although, although I got a lot of help, my uh, associate producer and my co-producer. So they did an amazing job. Without them, um, I don't know. But they did an amazing job. Working with Chris Kardash, who is the director, who gave so much, not just from writing the script, also helped me to put all this deal together with other associate producers, but Chris would really put his heart as a director, and I'm very privileged and happy to have him directing my movie. I don't anybody got a better than the Lakers. The Lakers, that's right. If Jack Nicholson likes the Lakers, you bet on them. That's all. They all go out there. I think Joshua Tree, to me, is about what the tree is about. Joshua Tree. Uh, I'm doing my research is um, it's a religious tree it's a tree uh, uh, about uh, you know redemption and we all need that uh, and we all need when we come back uh, to get that another shot um, you know to prove ourselves again and that's what happens in this movie with uh, the main character right uh, he, he, he redeems himself and um, he goes through a whole change and then he ends up looking for the love of his life who is out where the Joshua Tree is. This film, I'm not just producing, I'm also playing a character called Ray. And the character is struggled between right and wrong. And in the movie you see that he struggled between the hit that he takes from his mentor, played by Michael Madsen. Look at me and tell me you're good. I had a good crew and uh, good writers, and when you're, you, you can only be as good as the people you're working with. And uh, I had some good folks around me, so it was a fortunate day. No, I read the script and I thought it was good. And um, I think that the uh, independent films are a little bit more of a, a creative environment. I think it's a little bit more. Everybody really wants to make something good, and there's no recipe. If you're working on a big picture, sometimes it's more of a constrained kind of a situation. If I, a lot of people told me not to do Reservoir Dogs because it was a small film with a first-time director, and if I had said no, you know, I wouldn't even have a career. I don't think if it wasn't for independent films, there would be no Hollywood, all right? You know what they did to that bird, Ray? Hmm? You know what happened to the Carolina? They exterminated them all. Hello, oh, and this is Gary Sturgis. I play the role of Daryl on the set of Joshua Tree with my man Emilio Rosso. Just put down some dope stuff with Mike Madsen, man. The dude is a beast. That was some fun stuff we just threw down. Say hi to the bad guy, baby. You know, and just so y'all know, uh, you know, because I know all my fans out there probably saying, is he playing another drug dealer? No, actually, I am not. This time I am playing a professional hitman. I'm an assassin. So there's no drugs involved. I do chain smoke a whole bunch of cigarettes, but there's no drugs involved. So yet again, I'm playing the bad guy, which I tend to like about Hollywood. I like being the bad guy. Gary Sturgis is the bad guy. Say hi to Hollywood's hottest villain. It's a very interesting movie because, you know, it, it has all these, you know, the action thing, the shootouts and everything that, you know, a lot of people want to see and, and what makes the movies very interesting. And, um, and that, that part, you know, it, you know, it's fantastic. However, there is another part of the movie which uh, is uh, uh, goes in depth or uh, has a depth to it, 
and uh, and that is the part that to me is what I as an actor like the best. Well, the script was great. It was real fast. Uh, it was uh, it was like Quentin, you know. It was like Tarantino. It just moved, and um, it was one of those scripts where uh, I, I I actually read beginning to end, and you know didn't take a break. So to me, reading the script is like watching the film. I was very uh, anxious to see what happens to the main character, right? To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles, and by opposing end them, to die, to sleep no more, and by asleep to say we end the heartache and a thousand natural shocks, that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep, to sleep a chance to dream. Aye, there's the rub. For that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil? Must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life.